I'm Jesse, and I love Hong Kong. Now, this artwork behind me is from the Instagram username GodBlessHK. You can see it up there. I put up there so you can find it. I'm not part of God Bless HK, but I love what they're doing because I love Hong Kong. Now, I've got my scissors right here because I am cutting ties with Hong Kong. I love Hong Kong. It's my favorite place in Asia to visit. I've been there far more than once. Every time I go, it's a delight. All the advertisements that talk about how wonderful it is to visit, they've all been true. Now, I've seen protesting happening over the last two weeks. In fact, it's been longer than that. I'm not influenced by Western media. I've seen this. I know what's happening in Hong Kong. I've seen it myself. The protesters are basically making three demands. One, they want their CEO, Hong Kong has a CEO, not a president, a CEO. They want their CEO, Carrie Lam, to step down. Two, they want this bill that's on the table for extradition to China to be taken off the table. They want it gone. They want discussion closed gone. Now, Hong Kong won't do it. Now, the reason they don't want extradition with China is because China has a lot of human rights skeletons in the closet that China refuses to deal with. Who can blame them for not wanting extradition with China? I certainly don't want to go to Hong Kong if Hong Kong has extradition with China. No way. And that's not from some Western newspaper thing manipulating me like China always says the Western press does. No, I've seen it myself. I understand what's going on. And this law scares me. The third thing that the protesters want, they've wanted for a long time, equal representation. They don't really get represented in their government. They've got like some representation, but it's, it doesn't give them the majority. It's just like they're there to talk and not do anything. So what kind of representation is that? I mean, I'm not getting this from the Western press. I've been there. I've seen it. Now, they had protests. Oh boy, we're getting two weeks ago. A million people showed up because their government wouldn't listen to them and they don't have representation. The government didn't listen to a million people. Of course, the police underestimated the numbers as they always do. The weekend after, recently, two million people went and protested. They've only got seven million, just over seven million people in Hong Kong. Two million people went out to the streets, peacefully protested. There were some you know, rioters after the police instigated, as what the reports are, but even those weren't many. Hong Kong still won't listen. Carrie Lam still won't step down. They still will not take the extradition bill off the table so it's not even under discussion anymore. They won't even can it. They won't even get rid of it. At this point, we can see how far Beijing and Hong Kong are willing to go. Beijing should have made the suggestion to remove extradition the moment it was introduced. Beijing should have said, we have human rights violations, Hong Kong, you should not be seeking extradition with us. But Beijing didn't ask for that. They asked for the opposite. Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, they should have said the same thing, their government, but they didn't. They asked for the opposite. They've ignored two million protesters, two weekends in a row, and it's still going on. Even if Hong Kong's government granted the three demands from the people, remove extradition, Carrie Lam resign, and that they have equal representation in their government, even if at this point, seeing how far they've gone, seeing how dark and evil their intentions and their determination is, seeing that they've gone this far, even if the government granted those three requests, I wouldn't trust it, not, not with ignoring the people for the last two weeks, no. Not after ignoring, even, even not after ignoring the one million person protest. I would only see it at this point, if they granted those three requests, I would only see it as a symbolic gesture that they'd just be doing it to make the people happy, but not really make the changes that are necessary that they would still want to keep their dark ambitions. I no longer trust Hong Kong because it went this far. But there is something that at this point Hong Kong could do that would make me trust Hong Kong once again. Hong Kong would recognize Taiwan formally 
they would send a full embassy to Taipei and they would welcome a full formal embassy from Taiwan in Hong Kong and Hong Kong would formally fully recognize Taiwan as an independent state and represent them anywhere Taiwan is not represented. If Hong Kong did this, if they fully recognized and normalized formal relations with Taiwan, I would know once again after all this that they've done that I could trust Hong Kong again. I fly Cathay, but not anymore. Cathay is the best airline I've ever seen. It's better than any airline I've ever seen in America. If you want a model airline, look at Cathay. If you want to see the best employees you could hire from any airline that I've seen, hire employees from Cathay. If you want an awesome employee, it's not related to you know, airlines and flight attendant work. Hire someone from Cathay. Those are the best employees I've ever seen. It's the best airline. But I can't fly with them anymore because they're a Hong Kong company and we see what China does to Hong Kong. It's not Cathay I can't trust. It's China and Hong Kong's government. This here is my Cathay card. China did that. You want me back? You know what to do. Formally and fully recognize Taiwan as a government of the people, the democratic state that it already is. And then I'll know I can trust you again.